Good morning. Hello, sunshine. Oh, yeah. Got sleepy heads. We got the Super Bowl. Fucking Super Bowl day, man. I I I don't know my what. What time does it start? Later. About twelve hours. I don't know. Later. 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome to another strange review with the with your old boy Primo. I almost forgot my goddamn name. (laughs) <laughs> and the marijuana misfits over here, man. We're just having a good time. Um, we're ready to do another strain of view for you guys. And uh, this morning, we're going to revisit. We're going to revisit the cheese quick. Okay, the cheese quick. Uh, before we get started, that's what we're smoking on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a joint rolled of that stuff, and uh, I can tell you right now, um, it's a very earthy smell to it, you know. I, I, uh, the first time I, I, I did the, the, uh, strain review on a cheese grape. It, it smelled like spoiled rice or like uh, a spoiled cheese, you know, spoiled milk. And uh, this time, it doesn't smell like that. It just smells earthy. Okay. Uh, I don't know how the other guys are looking at it, but I'll be turning it over to them in a minute. Uh, I just want to mention that cheese quake is basically cheese crossed with the corkle. It is a TGA strain. All right, guys. That being said, uh, what do you think about the smell, uh, Blaze? How do you how do you think that smell goes? Oh, I got my nose all up in the jar right now. It definitely. I've grown cheese quake a couple times, and this one is definitely kind of unique as far as the. It has that earthiness to it, but there's definitely a, a an undertone where it doesn't just smell like earth there's definitely a a little bit of a twist on there where i get a little bit of a cheese back end but it's not your typical cheese there's a little Mm -hmm. little twist to it to me okay well i tell you what i i don't get i can't smell the that that uh twist on it maybe because uh, my nose is a little bit congested or whatever i mean you know i am not feeling up to par so uh, hopefully that's it, you know. Um, K doggy, how how does yours smell? Well, you know, I've got mine. I got this great jar, man, and it's it's got this roach clip thing that I hold a bud on so that it aired out. I mean, it it, it fluffed out overnight, okay. <laughs> And then the other bud I've got in the jars, I mean, so they've been together. It's got a great smell, but it's kind of like, I want to use the word funky, but not like in a bad way. Not like a, but you do smell like a milky something, like a milk that maybe near the edge. Yeah, it's almost like the edge of the milk is, like the milk is almost bad. Right. But it's that's a full smell. Well, that I'm makes sense. Grind them up know, too. Cheese is, cheese is spoiled milk. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Well, it's fermented milk, yeah. But you know, but uh, that's... I'm gonna grind some up and get a fresh broke smell, though. All right, cool. Well, while you're doing that, let me move on to Steve. Yeah. Well, how you doing, man? What do you think on this smell here? I'm I'm getting sweet just keeps hitting me in the back of the throat really wow definitely got the earth okay my nose my nose is just not working with me today then i mean i all i can smell is the earthiness that's all i can smell today is earthy you know uh 
It could be because I, I just put it on the phone and my phone's warm. Okay. So it may be. Kind of bring it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I, I definitely get earthy and uh, sweet, not like fruit sweet, but floral. All right. Damn, by the way, that's a nice rig pad you got there, man. Shit. <laughs> Big and. For anybody well, out there interested in a rig pad just like that, they, they cost $10 plus shipping. Uh, shipping's probably about three bucks. And uh, yeah, man, fucking A, dude. Nice going, bro. <laughs> There's Ooh. something besides that cheesy smell to it, though. I can't figure out what it is. It's like a, I mean, I know it's herb, okay? But it's like, what kind of herb does it smell like, guys? I mean, <laughs> well, you, like got a, guys, dude, you got guys in the chat over here asking, does it smell like mozzarella? Does it smell like no. cheese? No. No. No, not at all. Like I say, the closest to me, it smells like if you were sniffing milk, and it's like maybe a day, a day up the edge. You know, like don't buy this shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, and you know what that reminds me of? The government cheese. Oh, uh, I man, I love that the shit. To send out to all the welfare recipients. God, I miss that. The government cheese, damn right. And that shit was like right at the point of fucking going bad or going hard. Uh, you know what I mean? Still edible. but I loved it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Hmm. Rainbow Bright said it smells like earth and citrus to her. Wow. I was about to say, Billy Pad said it had a kind of a skunky, but a lemony twist to the skunky. Really? Wow. So they're smelling, okay, I get, they're smelling like the citrus. But you got to really squeeze the bud to get that. I kind of, that's what I'm saying. There's a funk. Hey, Doggy said it right. It's, there's a funk to it. It's not a bad funk though, but there's a, there's a little bit of a funk to it. It like, boom, funk up in this motherfucker. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Rainbow said, What's that song? Funk you up? It's gonna funk you up. Yeah, come <laughs> <the> funk. <laughs> Gotta have the funk. We want funk. We smoking that funk. Uh, God, funk. It smells good, man. I mean, it's. Yeah. And I know I, I had some of it last, last time around. I gotta say, I had it around Christmas or somewhere. Yeah. Just a little taste, so I'm really excited to see now that it's cured. And uh, well, I'm not going to trust my nose at all because you know what? The first specimen I did uh, when I did the first review on it, the original review, uh, it was like a heavy, heavy milk moldy cheese, moldy cheese. You know, uh, smelled like spoiled rice in a way. Uh, and then it had like an earthy back back taste, uh, uh, back smell to it. <coughs> <coughs> this time, um, it just smells different, you know. But then again, from what everybody's saying, you know, I'm kind of like way off on this one, and I can understand why, because I'm not feeling up to par. So. I mean, is this a good? It's a good chance that my smeller ain't as working as good as it should. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna have to yield the smell to you all and uh, <laughs> take it on that way. How you doing, Papa? I sent you an invite if you uh, want to get up here and talk about the cheese quick. Uh I'm gonna. This in my bone. Are we? Are we? Any of us getting close to hitting any of this? I just, uh, we're just about ready to, bro. We're just about ready to. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to rush nobody, but god damn. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy, <laughs> goddamn it. You're rushing me. You're rushing me. 
Okay. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Well, you chill out. You All right. Want to I tell you, what, the next thing we're going to talk about is the taste. And, you know, I know we didn't show any of that weed footage yet, but we'll get to that after taste because everybody needs to smoke right now. I know I do. So let's go ahead and smoke a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. You know what? When I tasted it, I tasted the fr the, fr the fruitiness too. Yeah. <coughs> huh. yeah. so like, oh. Oh. It's right down the back of your throat, sort of like it follows your mouth, the the curve of your mouth. <coughs> it just goes boom, like right down to your to that tickly spot, and that's why you're hacking, Primo. Oh, that you took a big swap, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He took a big swap. <laughs> I'm going to uh, like citrus. I don't know, man. Maybe like a like a lime or a lemon. You know, oh, uh, it definitely had a citrus taste to it. You know, uh, once I lit it, though, let's talk about when once you lit it. All I got was earthy. All I got was earthy on that. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> Blake, what do you think? <coughs> I think I need to hit it again. Yeah. That's what I did too, man. I had to do it again, man. I was like, what? All dude? right, man. Well, I tell you what, let's hit it again and then a couple times, you know, and uh, kind of get a feel for it, you know? Get your head up high, dudes. Again, guys, this is purely scientific. We are not just trying to get uh, smoke extra, you know what I mean? <laughs> But if something happens along the way, I'm not going to complain, Primo. No, I definitely get that, like, it's kind of a citrus. It's, it's, if I had to say anything, it's definitely in that citrus area, but it has that cheesiness background to it. So it's kind of, it's kind of complex. You have the earthiness, you have a very, very small hint of the cheese coming through, but it's being overpowered by by the earth and then the uh, the citrus tones when I like blow out my nose after I'm done blowing the smoke out. Slide <laughs> out my nostrils. I tell you, I took two hits and I'm already feeling pretty good. Oh yeah, man. See it, that's it's... the thing. The first time I had the cheese quake, uh, it was uh, earth. All I tasted was earthy. You know, and as far as the smell. It was just overwhelming with the cheese. It was kind of the opposite. So, uh, again, it was from a totally different source, you know. So, <coughs> it was a little bit different, you know. Um, it does have an impact. Uh, I remember the first time it was uh, really sedating. It really was really relaxing. This one, I could feel a little bit more euphoric. You know, kind of in the eyes a little bit more, you know. Um, that, you know, that's what I'm feeling. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I'm feeling right now. And like two two hits, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the effect already. <coughs> yeah. He's quick, man. It's been a kind of a staple i always seem to have at least one cheese quake in the garden and uh if you're growing from seed like i'd like to uh if you can get some some phenos have a grapiness hint to it that's the thing cheese quake can get really crazy you can get heavy cheese you can get a purple cheese you can get the skunk you can get the lemon 
but it's a good plant. I think it's seven, nine week flower time. It's a heavy yielding plant, fairly easy to grow plant. And it's pretty potent plant. So I would definitely recommend checking out cheese quake. Yeah, I never grew it before. I've heard stories about it, you know, how it was easy to grow and adapted real good with your environment and all. I also heard that it was a heavy fucking yielder. Uh, these plants throw off a lot of weight. How you doing, Papa? You uh, want to say hello to everybody? And uh, are you smoking the cheese quake along with us? Uh, yeah, I pulled some out. It's been a while since I got it, and I've kind of been waiting on the. I missed the first review on it. <coughs> I kind of agree with Rainbow Bright on the cheesequake. Uh, the earthiness kind of takes over the lemony. Mm -hmm. uh, but y'all know, Papa, I squished the shit out of it. Yeah, you yeah. like it all. <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever I got that rosin out of it, man, it was it just changed the whole. The smell, it, it went from earthy, lemony to uh, a fruity, lemony uh, rosin. And it had the earthy aftertaste, but not it wasn't as predominant as the uh, <laughs> flower. And uh, the high was just uh, a real mellow, uh, laid back, uh, energetic. You know, it's kind of fighting against each other. But uh, I can kind of, I can kind of agree with that fighting against each other thing because, yeah. in a way, it's hitting me like a euphoric high, but then it's also trying to sedate me. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm kind of getting it coming from both angles. Yeah, it's a little confusing in at you know in a way. Um, if, I, if, I could, um, if I could uh, uh, compare it to a pharmaceutical, it would be like doing a, a Valium with a shot of Coke. I'm going to lay back, but ready to get it. Yeah. yeah. What an analogy. There you go. You got it here, folks, from Papa Dabs. A Valium with a shot of Coke. <laughs> it's a good morning. It's definitely a good wake and bake stream. I didn't want to drink any coffee with this one because I really wanted to see how sedating it was. Um, but uh, I like it. You know, I do. I like it. It's a 60-40 indica dominant, actually. Yes, and And that's why there's that fight. You know, because it's the, the sedation is definitely there. It's more <laughs> relaxing, but it's not so. It doesn't relax you into a chair so much. It's definitely a motivating strain. Like you can smoke this and go on and get you some. Yeah, yeah, and you know, the first time I had this in the strain review, it was uh, it was relaxing, but there was no euphoric feel to it. That's the biggest difference, I think, as far as the effect on this one is, to me, is that this one has more of a euphoric feel to it. You know, it hits you in the eyes and fucks you up in the eyes a little bit, you know. There you go, Pop Pop. <coughs> Man, K-Dog, you've been pretty quiet over there. Well, dudes and dudettes, I put in two hours on the radio, but hey, I am still here and I'm ready to smoke some more. I can always talk about it. What you want to say? Well, what do you <laughs> think about the effect? Why don't you go ahead and happy. Take it slow down? I'm happy. Damn it, I'm happy. All right. Happy. I guess it's official. K Doggy is happy. I am like social stoner at this point. I feel like just like shut up. <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. I'm just chilling, man. Good man. Pipe gang. Pipe gang. You haven't said anything to anybody out in the chat yet, Primo, and I'm surprised. Oh, you know what, dude? I, I you know what? You are right. So why don't we do that right now? A lot of folks in there hanging out. 
<laughs> and who we got here? We got God of Paper. We got Rich We got we got Lisa. We got Dally Man Salads here. How you doing, bro? Green Kazike. We got Budget Bud. We got Octo Tom in the house. We got old hippie chick, Kevin K, local grower, Zago. You already know, homie. Paka Lolo. Oh, gee. Yeah, local grower organics in here, too, man. Lily Pat's in here. Perp 969. No, you ain't forgettable. Don't worry about yourself like that, Budget Bud. You're just fine. <laughs> Y'all just. Grab thumbs up while we're up in here, man. I know we're all getting high, and, and we're going to tell y'all everything we know about this damn bud. <laughs> we got, oh, a, we got, we got Ken McDonald. We got Loki. 217. Heck yeah. I'm sure Jason Hickox, Tow Truck Bob, a.k.a. Riddles, probably chilling. Yeah. We got Bezego. We got Burp, Burp's Nerd 69. I hear that, Bazego. I just fed my seedlings right before we went live. Uh, we got China Berry 420. How you doing, girl? Hey, girl. What up, China Berry? Little pipe gang, marijuana misfits, hashtags all over the place. We got Ramen for Rodriguez. How you doing, dude? Nice to see you here, bro. Whoa. Uh, let's see who else we got up in here. Riddles four twenty. How you doing, bro? Hey, I like that video. I seen it this uh, last night. Finally. Oh, peace and four twenty to everybody that's out there in that chat. I want to just say that. There you go. We got Jason Hickox in here. Uh, oh, who else we got in here? Mass 420. Oh, yeah, hey, Mass 420. Dickhead, dickhead. Dick there you go. Budget bud. Ooh, wee. Tow truck pop. Yeah, there hey, you kid. go. Riddles. By the way, Over. guys, Riddles 420, man. Go check out his site. He left a nice video up there. A uh, good shot of that pipe that I sent him. He won on the pajama party giveaway. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Fucking, he was hitting that sucker hard. Yeah. Right, Sorry, baby. Well. I'm glad it's working for you, bro. Putting it to good use, and that's what I like to see. <laughs> Get this one for out. It's for you, local. Cheers. Cheerios, guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wanted to shout out Jason Hickox. Uh, Jason, if you're still out there in the chat, brother, uh, how about getting over on Instagram and sending me your address again? I got you, I got you a package ready to go, but I don't have your address. I know I, I got his it. email. I got his email last night, Paul. Paul, I'll send it to you in the chat. Hangouts chat. Okay. <coughs> I think he doesn't have an Instagram right now, so yeah, I got an email from him. Okay. <coughs> now, guys, I haven't been smoking this long, so I can't tell you any medical medical uses on it. Um. But I can tell you that it's very sedating. Okay, so I would assume that this would help with stress, or maybe, maybe even insomnia. I don't want to go all the way and say that, but it could help you with insomnia. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't smoke too much, like. Um, I don't know. I think, I think grower has a lot to do with it too. And a lot of my stuff that I grew this year that 
this this being one of them budget bud asked if this was the same grower no i actually grew this cheese quake budget bud the last few samples was from somebody who did not want to be named or or known and uh i don't know man i don't know if it's the way i fed or the way i sung to them or what but there's definitely a lot of euphoria that's coming off of my garden this year mm -hmm. yeah you must have played the drums for them too because they had to get you going i did a little rango tango it's... to it don't it oh, man. man i got one question okay and the same thing happened with the first specimen that i had the and I and I know this usually has to do with uh, the drying of it, okay. But in this incident, you know, this one's coming out coming out of your garden. The other one when was totally different. Was like a dispensary, uh, and uh, so it was like not even you know no relation. But the one thing I noticed the same is the ash. This particular strain, I don't know if it's a strain or, or what, but so far two different growers and ash, the ash both uh, doesn't go turn, doesn't turn totally white. Are you guys, am I, is this like, am I fucking like losing it or, or, or do you guys see this? Are you guys getting this? I can't tell you if you're losing it or not, Primo. I'm not. I'm not that expert in that <laughs> regards. <laughs> and I'm smoking in my box. So I don't know. My I mean, are, you, are you seeing a lot of white ash, or is, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of black. Okay. I see grayish, grayish and white. <laughs> yeah, about to say if I smoke, <laughs> I just be white. I smoke my bong. It's <laughs> I'm throwing my lighter to it. Okay, no, maybe I, mean, just me. I don't know. Maybe y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Yeah, I can see it. I mean, it's kind of gray, but black and white. It's a rainbow. It's like a panda bear. Right. Now, I don't taste any any kind of fertilizer or anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a nice clean taste. It's not leafy or overly leafy. Uh, the bud was very chunky, to say the least. Um, <coughs> and the one thing that is about the same with both specimens is that they both make me have to think about what I'm going to say or how I want to say it. <laughs> I lose my words a little bit, you know what I mean? I start talking too fast. So that's my assessment of it. I mean, uh, you guys can give your own assessments of it as far as how it feels for you. Uh, I know Papa's uh, smoking it in a rosin form. Uh, Papa, are you, are you, what are you, I'm, I'm interested because, you know, you're the only one here that's smoking in a rosin. So as far as the effects are for you, where does it take you? Just a laid back, let's get it, uh, type mood, you know, I got up early this morning, I, I smoked some in my new Ego 3, and, uh, man, it, I, uh, I, kind of wanted to get back in bed but uh, uh it just overpowered and said hell no man we got to go to the damn woods to check on this damn growth site we got to do this we got to do that and goddamn next thing i know i had a hundred things i needed to do <laughs> and uh i'm gonna tell you man the reason y'all are seeing uh the darker ash yeah is uh this strain it needs a lot of heat uh, if you take your torch and light that bowl and put that heat to it, you're going. It's going to go from that a different taste. I'm for real. Uh, it'll go from that uh, just flowery bud taste. Uh, if you put some uh, that little torch to it, you, it'll you'll you'll taste the trichomes in it because it's loaded with trichomes. 
it's loaded with oils and it just takes a hotter heat to get to that oil and whenever you're hitting it with just a regular lighter right it uh it all it's doing is melting the oils and they're going to the bottom of the bowl or the bottom of your uh where your bowl bowl or your hitter or whatever you're hitting it with uh but with the rosin it just uh it made it a hundred times better to me. I mean, I like to smoke flour, but this cheese quake and uh, and the blue cheese, it, it is so oily that uh, I, I honestly think that it was designed to make medicine. It's a good medicine uh, strain. It okay, well that comes to the next. Good. That comes to the next question. Now, uh, how much return did you get then? If that's the case. Well, I think I had like two grams. I mashed the two grams and got a point four five. So that that's a good return. Uh, that would have come to about twenty three, twenty four percent. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. It's a good return. It is a dense and bud. It didn't. Uh, uh, it didn't set it hard. Even after I aged it in the refrigerator, uh, it didn't want to shatter up or get hard like a wax. It stayed the oily, and it's a pretty oil. It's a golden, golden tin. It's got a little darkness to it because I was a little bit too hot when I was pressing it. But uh, I, I believe it'll turn out a good golden oil. Whenever I stir it up, you get that gold, real gold color. Right. That's one right. of the things I'm working on here at uh, Paul Paul's uh, patch. We're going to get a studio <laughs> set up where whenever I do, whenever I'm saying something like that, I can turn the camera on my GoPro. Hmm. It'll be pointing down, and when I'm stirring it, you can see that color. Oh, so, well, uh, damn. That, some we, strains, we've been looking forward to that. Some, some strains has iridescent colors, but this the cheese quake man it was a really yellowish gold <laughs> Shit, i'm gonna have to use my grinder because i cannot bust it up by my thumbs yeah. well it is dense uh doggy i mean you can break break it up into like chunks no 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 this break up little it. chunks into like small you know like burnable I you know paper or whatever i mean yeah you'd be you'd have to get a scissors or some kind of cutter i just use my grinder thank you very much i will choose grinder? hello so load up that sucker and give it a twirl hell yeah man doesn't take but a sec i ain't getting but much man i gotta i gotta get ready to take you know who for you know what no, don't say it. I'm not, but you know what it is. And you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Hang on, I got to give Blaze another invite here. His phone shut off. Oh, Blaze. It happens from time to time. I mean, you know. I know. Hang out. I know. Hang out. I know. I'm plugged in and then my battery slowly ticks down. Right, I'm Scuba? That's why I turn my camera off every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> See the life on the battery, yeah? Yes, indeed. That camera will eat it up. Yeah, I need it in there. Blaze, not to worry. Have no fear. I just sent you another invite, bro. Jump on up when you when you get it. Man, I'm wondering. You know, I'm wondering what everybody in the chat is smoking on. Now I know you guys usually got the fire. Why don't you guys go go ahead and uh, throw it down in the chat? Let us know what you're smoking on. And dude, if you got the edibles, I want to know, man. What kind of edibles are you eating? All right, you know your boy wants to know this shit. Go ahead. Right, and right. 
Y'all, y'all know Papa can't see the chat right now. You're gonna have to tell me. I see, I see him over there. I will choose free will. Bazego, green to grow 420. Older hippie chick, please. Budget bud. Man, I need some U Dub rosin. Uh, Ooh, XJ13. That's good. Little uh, XJ13. Oh, yeah, man. I had some of that too before. That was some good shit. That's some good daytime stuff. Too. CBD honey sticks for Solomon Sal's garden. Wow. Nice. That that just makes me want to taste it. <laughs> you know, I know man. honey sticks, shit. Perry, right. I, got a, I got a, I got a, I got a joint down. I got a joint down, guys. We got a man down alert here. Oh We're shit! Call for a medic. Bring this sucker on up. <laughs> oh, on, guys. Not. We got not. a man down. I'm gonna leave this to you guys right now. Oh no! Gonna make it. Uh, and, uh, recon, recon. <coughs> Ooh, lemon Kush. Head Get it to the grinder. <laughs> so in, case, in case y'all didn't know, tune in for the next pajama party giveaway because there's some mystery things going on. This yeah. coming Saturday night, six p.m. Pacific time. Mysteries. That makes it nine o'clock out my way, folks. If you're out here on the East Coast, like with me, right. see, I'll help y'all. Remo, out. Cha Remo changed the time just so the East Coasters could be there. I know. Now we got to figure out if we should change the name of the show a little bit because if it's the late, late weed show and it's coming on at nine o'clock in the damn evening in well, California. The thing about it though is not everybody's on the same time zone. Yeah, uh, I know. Somewhere. I know. You no, know, I know. But even oh, here, it's nine o'clock. Ain't late, man. That ain't late at all. Oh, yeah, huh? I'm still up, brother. <laughs> it's late, like hey, you say. It late, that. late is like come on at one o'clock in the morning, mom. You know. Yeah, what here's, I'm the, here's the thing, though, doggy. You know, uh, we already hash. We've been hashtagging it late, late week show. Yeah. You change it, we're gonna lose all those hashtags. Oh, I know, I know, I understand. Start I'm just all over again. I'm just, I'm just playing with you, Primo. You know I love you, brother. I don't care if you call it the the Elvis Presley is still here on the planet rocking and rolling it and <laughs> driving a damn Cadillac. I don't care what you call it. <laughs> I'll be there. You miss it. You're damn right. By the way, guys, man back oh, up. Man up. A disaster. Thank God for that. Hallelujah. Praise go. the ganja geese. Another reason we left it like that was because uh, one of us might want to do an insomniac sesh. Yeah, damn right. I mean, you know, that, that yeah. You know what, Pop? Now Papa's like really letting it out of the bag. Uh, there was supposed to be some talk of uh, an insomniac sesh coming up. So uh, stay tuned, guys. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, the next pajama party, though, does start on Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. You guys need to be there, man, because we got some unreal shit to give away. Uh, I ain't even going to say it. I ain't even going to say it. I mean, we're taking it to a different level. You're seeing these different stuff. Uh, God, I don't even want to say anymore without letting the cat out of the bag. You know, it's 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 just it, it, it's gonna it's gonna fucking really turn some heads. That's all I'm saying. All right, you guys, we gotta be cheery there. We got OG the Stoner in here, sipping on what some some honey. I guess he's trying to say like cognac, Hennessy, Hennessy. Henny, yeah, some Hennessy. Okay, Hennessy, Hennessy. Okay, all right. Oh, uh, let's see. Getting ready for game, I guess. Oh, gee, yeah. Cheerios, guys. Cheerios. By the way, where is uh, today? Is Super Bowl Sunday, so I guess it's only proper. 
Where is everybody cheering for today, man? Are you cheering for the Philadelphia Eagles? Are you cheering for the uh, New England Patriots? Or are you cheering for the Atlanta Falcons? Go ahead and tell me, man. Who are you cheering for today? <laughs> New England. We got one New England? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Why not have winners what pay the shipping? Well, we usually pay the shipping, bro. I mean, you know. That's part that's why we call it giveaway. Yes, yeah, you know, we giving it away, so Yeah. Shipping, you know. I mean unless the shipping was a Now if you want to tip the person who sent it to you. Yeah. PayPal or something, uh, that may be in the works, but that's on you, and that's totally on you. It's not required. But, uh, yeah, well, the most time, we'll pick it up, bro. How you doing, J-Rock? Ken McDonald says he's going Patriots. He's cheering for the Pats. <coughs> 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 The one thing I can tell you about the New England Patriots, I can tell you this. I like the emblem that they had back in the 70s better. You know, with the guy on the fucking three-point stance, the, uh, yeah. the, the hat. The Patriot. No, the Patriot hat, yeah. You know. I really, I, I like that one better. And when they, when they changed, man, it just wasn't the same. Although the team got better. Mm. Yeah, I'm with OG the stoner. I haven't really paid attention to football. Like, and it's been over a couple years now. I mean, it's just, that's so repetitive. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> you know, Lisa, like I said, Lisa, you know, you can always uh, uh, communicate with the individual that sent you whatever and uh, let them know, you know, if you really want to. Uh, help out with the shipping. Um, we're not we're not making it a requirement because uh, it is a giveaway, you know. And uh, we wouldn't be it just wouldn't seem the proper way of doing it. You know what I mean? However, if you, uh, out of the kindness of your heart, is willing to help out to somebody who's helping people out, by all means, and I'm sure. The guys, uh, as far as the rest of the misfits, they 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 really appreciate something like that. You know, that's that's a nice gesture. So, damn, kudos to you on that. All I want y'all to do is just come by and see me. That's all y'all got to do to tip me. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. I tell you what, uh, yeah, I just pay. I just give you two bucks. Give me two bucks. Man, it'd be too much of a heartache to go and see you, man. I just send you two bucks. I'll play you a damn song, brother. I'll play you two songs. That's a dog song. That's like playing the jukebox, but you get to hear that shit, but I got to talk over it anyway. You know that's going to happen. Dog King show. Bezego smoking the pig's breath. Oh my god, it's fucking amazing, dude. That is the second time you told me about the pig's breath. Sounds good. It looked amazing. Every yeah, every we got from that rope looked absolutely amazing. He was showing it to us the other night, and uh, yeah, that thing looked good. That's what we call it. Frosty's breath. <laughs> <coughs> Well, there's so many names. I like the taste of that. When it's a green hit on this on this cheese, cheese quake, it's got such a nice, it does have that, it's got that lemony taste and it just goes up the back of your throat. It's like the top of your mouth, right down, follows the curve of your mouth, boom, to the back of your throat and then down your damn throat. And then you blow it back out. Yeah. Damn. What a what a what a description there, doggy. 
Go to the curve of the mouth. Hmm. Goes down your throat. Yeah. That's what right that's, that's scientific way of saying curve down the throat. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, that's like, oh, wow. It follows the curvature of your throat, and then it goes down until... <laughs> <laughs> Can we what? Can we send in for a panel strain review? Yes, you can, Budget Bud. Budget Bud, if you want to send in a sample for a panel, uh, the panel to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, sample it, you can send it to. Uh, either to me or to one of the misfits whichever one is closest to you uh and uh we'll uh divide it up and send it to the rest of the misfits and get it to them okay so yes you can do that and uh we'll mention you during the uh review and uh we'll give it a whirl and give you our opinion on how it codes out, you know. Once again, this is a feature, this is a feature grower sample here. We would like you to send whenever you do send that. Uh, send us some of your notes while <laughs> you we're growing it. We'll share that too. You know? Yeah, if you're inclined to, uh, if you're inclined to share information, sure. We'd, be, we'd like to see that stuff too. You know, I know some of you guys are all private out there, so. I understand, yeah. but uh, yeah. if you're willing to share, damn, we're there. I, like I just sharing. don't want to. Uh, I tried, but mention something that's not not the facts. Yeah. But we we will give you an honest review, though. Mm hmm. It's all constructive of criticism you know we're all here to learn you know that's what's fun i know i got on here to learn and i've been learning a lot so it's been it's been a fun ride i would have to say the minimum amount you'd have to send to have like a three person uh three person panel uh would be like maybe four four grams uh if you get closer to five six grams uh you probably get an extra person or two on there uh you know once again you know we need at least a gram per person to really get a good feel on this sucker or maybe a little over a gram you know what i mean it uh you know you need to smoke it and smoke it a couple different ways you know what i'm saying so you can kind of get the feel of it and the better, uh, and it it only makes your assessment better. Okay, guys, just a heads up. And I'm glad everybody's thinking about that. That's great, dude. I know uh, some, <coughs> of those, some of those people <coughs> are don't think Papa don't go over and check y'all's videos out. I I know. <laughs> budget bud y'all need to check yeah. this mm -hmm. it does have some nice growth yeah indoors mm -hmm. yeah we've checked we've been looking you know we, we we don't just come on here to do shows we uh definitely peruse the the viewers channels you know uh we may not say something all the time, but uh, we're there. We're watching. It's always nice to see what people are doing, you know? <coughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 500,000 subscribers, man. It's hard to leave a comment. But everybody that does leave one, we sure do appreciate it. And, if, you know, whatever you, whenever you... Spreading the love, it's hard to leave a comment, but we sure do like them. And then thumbs up, too. <laughs> yeah, that's right, and bro. don't forget, ring that bell. 
Ding a ling a ling. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, there's a little video up. Hit that bell. That's right. Hit that like button. That's right. Make sure you subscribe. Exactly. These people are good people that you're sitting here on the panel with me. I got to tell you, if you like me, you'll like them too. You know why? Because we got like minds, but different. You know, we're not like robots and shit. We talk different things and we'll talk different points on different stuff. But we like minded. That's a good point, dear doggy. That's a very good point. These my brothers, they ain't no sisters up here this evening, this afternoon. But y'all subbed up to my cousins. Damn right, man. I tell you what, I am uh, about as high as I'm gonna get <laughs> off this cheese quick. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, uh, it's more sedating. Than it is euphoric, uh, but it, I don't feel like I'm going to fall asleep or anything. You know, it just makes me really relaxed. Um, I, I, that's that's my assessment of it. You know, long short answer. I mean, Papa, what do you think? Well, what what's your feeling on on your overall assessment of this cheese quake? I like it. Well, that's not saying much. Papa likes it all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Best of them dabs. There you go. You heard it here, guys. Papa Dab likes it all. He likes it. He likes it. Likes it like I Mikey. Like it. Mikey likes it. <laughs> Blaze, what's your overall assessment? And I know that uh, this coming out of your garden. I mean, you know, what do you what, go ahead and give us a few, man? I wish I got a different phenotype. In all honesty, I mean, this this was good for what it was, and I was happy with it. I'm happy with the high, but there's a purple creamier pheno out there at Cheese Quake that's much more delicious and sought after. But yeah, man, I'd give it. I'd, uh, I'd say like <laughs> seven, seven, seven point five out of ten. Okay, I think that's a fair assessment. Actually, I mean, you're really uh, <coughs> <coughs> critiquing, <coughs> critiquing it uh, pretty fair there, especially since you were the grower. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that, guys! Right. Check that out. Look at that pop out, pop out uh, picture there. Holy snipers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Holy snipers. Yummy. Yeah, is that that's that's a dab of it? I mean, it, it was that was a butt of it? No. That was no. the butt of it. Yeah, I got one <laughs> too, <man. laughs> Yeah, it's party. Now, I tell you what, the one difference as far as the look, okay, of the specimen that I had prior, the first cheese quake that I had had a lot of red hair. This one does not have a whole lot of red hair, okay? That was the big one. There you go. Right here, buddy. There you go. That's what oh, oh, man, head. he got ripped open and everything. Oh, okay, I see it now. Okay. A lot of red hairs, yeah. That's what I got left of it, buddy, right there. All right. Mm-hmm. That was good, too. Hey, thank you. Oh, Primo. What's that, Kay? Yeah, you got to take them glasses off, brother, and look at it a little closer. Man, my <laughs> eyes are bad, dude. I, <laughs> I know, cuz. I know, cuz. I'm just fucking with you, man. <laughs> you. We give it the K-Dog look. Yeah. What's that, Scuba? I see you brought a lonely chair. Yeah, right? I, 
I prefer to watch the pipeline over football any day, too. There you go. There you go. So when we're done here, y'all go check out the, the contest. How you doing, Looney Productions? How you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah, pipeline's going off right now, guys. No doubt. This is late night. Here. Miss, Mrs. Elite Nugs, how you doing? How you doing? <coughs> yeah, definitely, guys. I mean, this cheese quake has is is definitely rocking my world. There's no doubt about it. Uh, once again, I've had a heavier cheese, uh, but this was uh, the citrus. In it, I mean, I couldn't smell it, but I could taste it. Okay, um, it really was a nice twist. Uh, kind of took it in a different direction in a way. Um, very sedating, but very sedating. You know, can't overemphasize that enough. I only wish I had smoked enough of it to. To give you guys more of a medical effect, but like I said, you know, with the relaxing effects, it would definitely help you with stress. It would probably be uh, good for maybe insomnia. You know, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that it will, but it might possibly help you with insomnia. Okay. Kevy, Kevy boys here? Yeah, Kevy boy's here. Oh shit! All right, how you doing, Kevy boy? <laughs> Everybody say hi to Kevy boy. Don't let him go out like that. Yeah, man, Kevy don't let him go out like that. Everybody say hey, hey Kevy. Kevy, we see you there, we see you there my dude. Oh, Kevy. 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 Kevy, come back. We hear oh. you, man. Come hey, here. Kevy. I gotta be honest. I've been doing a lot of watching the chat just kind of go by, and I'm like, I'm in my head. I'm commenting a lot more than verbally. Out loud. <laughs> Can I say what I gotta say about this, bud? Yeah, go ahead, man. Because <laughs> I never got a chance to say what I thought about this, bud. But dude, well, let, let's it, hear it, doggy. What okay. Do you think? Uh, I like the growers' technique because I like the flavor of the bud i like the uh, cure of the bud i like the flavor of it in that i get that lemon i don't smell it but i smell the cheese i know i got a cheese in my hand okay yeah i know i got that by the smell alone and then when you get this taste in your mouth it's like I said, it's like a lemon or a citrusy flavor. It'd be like if you took a lemon lozenge, okay, and put it in your mouth. Not a heavy lemon lozenge. It would be light. And back of your throat, it coats the back of your throat. That's what I mean by it follows your throat. It coats the back of your throat. I was too high to say that earlier. Now I'm high enough to say it. Right. Uh, uh. Like a cough drop effect? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Yeah, it coats the back of your throat. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Now, the high, can I say I'm high as a monkey in a damn coconut tree right now, about ready to toss one down on top of watch your head there, primo duck your head, cuz. <laughs> hey, man, why are you dropping man. shit over here? Hey, 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 hey. It's my tree. It's my tree, motherfucker. I'm just yeah, in your my house. head, damn it. Fucking it's my head you're aiming for, god damn it. I know, but it's my tree. It's my tree. Yes, yeah, Scuba, you watch out your neck. Fucking yeah. hit me in the noggin, knock me out for life. God damn. Oh, no, I'm high as a bitch. Let's just say that. Somebody threw a damn Let's... coconut at me and hit me in the back of the head. Oh shit! Much love to the grower, and uh, I give it three and a half paws up. <laughs> three and a half out of five, I guess, right? Three and a half out of four. 
Oh, okay. Three and a half. I'm five. only. I'm a dog. Dogs don't have no five paws. I was about to say, well, where's the pig's paw coming from? This is well, so I mean, weird. hey, you want to count his tail? <laughs> That's you know not. I mean? no, 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 that ain't a hand. That ain't a paw. That's a paw, man. A paw is a well, I didn't know we were counting paws here. Um, yeah, you're right. Dogs do have four paws. Then Everybody. Again, uh, I had a. I had a friend want to chase my tail. Dog. <laughs> I had a friend that had a three-legged dog. That fucker used to, hey man, let me tell you something. For a three-legged dog, he got around. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so sad to sing when the three-legged dog in the neighborhood comes running by because they they have them. They're always the happiest dog. The three-legged dog, man. Right. You know, I ain't going to win no fucking contest. You know, like a race or anything, but. He got to where he needed to go, you know? <laughs> you know what that's, you call a three-legged dog? You name him Lucky. <laughs> Why is that? Because he didn't lose two more legs? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, man. That's that's uh, all right. All right. Oh, uh, Lord, God, a penny to take care of yourself, my dude. Man, I tell you what, after losing one, I'd be like, fucking, I ain't got no luck at all, goddammit. But that'd be me, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Is there anything else you want to say to about this, uh, about this, uh, cheese quake there, Kay? Uh, uh. I like it. I, 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 you know what? I would vote for it. It's like I would not. I would not vote the person who threw it off the island. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. That's and I'd say that anybody out there in this crowd ought to throw a thumbs up to the grower because that's why we're talking about what we got now. It's good stuff, man. Damn right. How you doing, Perry Art? Perry. All right. That being said, uh, uh, how about you, Scuba? Why don't you give us your assessment on this strain here? Turn it up, you monkey. Scuba. But I was yelling it. Say again? Um, you back? Uh, I can hear you, but you're not saying much here. Okay, okay we're back. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> you're back. Yeah. What's we're your opinion back. on this uh, cheese quake? Definitely a lemon back yet. The okay. earthy takes over. In my opinion, I'm I'm like the blaze, uh, seven and a half, because I like the. Uh, you put it euphoric, so it definitely. I get the indica feel of pain yeah. relief. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> feel. <laughs> uppity, uppity sativa feel like I want to break the yard, man. Right. Yeah, let me let me straighten up this table so y'all don't see all this stuff, you know, type stuff. But uh, the earthy definitely takes over the lemon. I think uh, with a good long longer cure. That lemon would probably come out stronger. Well, let's ask the grower himself. Uh, Blaze, what what about that cure? How long was that? Uh, well, God, he's asking questions, man. I don't know, really. I cured it, and then it cured. And you got it, and you cured it, and then you pulled it out, and you smoked it i mean to me it was kind of curing between when i chopped it down and did exactly what paul was doing because 
I hand trimmed every freaking piece of it. So that's why, it, you know, it's what it is. A lot of hard work. Of that. That. I mean, I like to cure. I didn't do anything special. I got to be honest. I had a lot to deal with, and it was turkey bag cured. It wasn't like I jarred and burped it. I just, I kept it out of heat. I kept it out of light. I kept it with a pile of its friends and you know so it wasn't lonely or nothing like that and i would check on it and make sure it was okay and the old because it's all about that moisture content so i guess you know i just made you sure you didn't give it any special treatment whatsoever you just no i just didn't make sure it was in a super dry place and turn to dust okay it's it's like keeping anything around you know you want that certain temperature range and that certain moisture range and luckily i where i live it's very easy to keep that particular stuff happy actually it's right super right i got you no i got you i understand what so i'm gonna explode on that aspect all right all right <laughs> so, like like because the little one, for instance, the one I was smoking on, it was definitely in a little tiny jar. So when I pulled it out of that little tiny jar, when I first smoked it, when I first pulled it off, there was no lemon turps. There was no nothing. It just had that fresh, just done, you know, run of the mill smell. And then the longer it was in that jar, I started to get that lemoniness that I've honestly never had in a cheese quake. So I was kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But it still had that. <coughs> I think me and K Doggy probably had around the same piece and maybe even scuba because he described it just like I did. I definitely know I had cheese in my hand. And then there was like this lemoniness that was kind of like, okay, that's weird. And, but not in a bad way. And, um, it's all about moisture and light, people. Just keep it in a place where, you know, you're not going to forget about it. That's right. And that's how that's how important curing is in the drying process, people. I mean, you, you, you see it right there, you know. Uh, go to different places, different humidity levels, different temperatures, and you definitely see a different outcome okay um i mean it is it i, I want to say it is what it is but you know and the, the, at the end of the day i mean it, it does make a difference it does you know uh that's the long and short of it yeah, Scooper, is there anything else you, you want to say No, Perry Art. I did not find it better than jars, but it's hard to do a lot in <laughs> jars. But when it comes to the personal <laughs> jar, it's a way to go for sure. Right. If you're gonna do it in a turkey bag, you can't have like a whole lot in that bag. You know, it's gotta be just a little bit. Uh, on the turkey bag there were Yeah, that's why the turkey bag was utilized. There was a lot, you know in the jar there's only so much room and in the jar too you, it's it's kind of weird because the uh the bigger jars i get weird anal because i like to like actually take my jar and kind of flip them sometimes and pour the butt out and put it back in because i hate the way the stuff on the bottom it's all about when the plant's sitting there doing its thing it's still releasing gases it's like burping off and farting that's why they say you got to burp your jar so you to, to really get it smooth even if your stuff's going to have that earthy taste because you grew it you know some stuff it, it's, it's herb might have an earthy taste but in order to get that good smoothness you got to really burp it and get that access gas off you gotta give it clean air man no, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. But then I see diesel agrees. Yeah, I don't know. Mailman, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's not the right day for mail, so. Yeah. How you doing, Big Rock? Well, I tell you what, man. I mean, you know, I got to agree with the rest of the guys over here. Um, there's definitely an earthy taste to it. Uh, you can definitely taste a little bit of citrus. Um, as far as the smell, my nose is screwed up right now, so we're not going to even go there. 
but the the looks of it very dense uh, a lot of fucking trichomes uh, the high very sedating I mean and I know I said this about five six times already but it's true it's it's a very sedating but okay um, I cannot overemphasize that enough. I'm ready to rock and roll, though, man. Well, like, like I said, I mean, you know, this is why I say, it, dude, this would be good for stress, but I don't know if this would be good for insomnia because I, I don't think it would put me out. I and, think it's good for, like, looking down that giant mega ramp at X Games because I'm pretty sure if I wreck, I'm not going to hurt myself. <laughs> this guy could do it, man. Like, it's definitely a go-getter. <coughs> Baby, <coughs> baby. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. So you're giving it the video game approval, huh? Oh, for sure. Are you kidding me? Me and Scuba were getting it in on Battlefield last night. <coughs> I was top of the board, son. I was <coughs> Yeah, I seen that, man. You guys all got together and fucking like, hey, yeah. Yeah, I seen that. I yeah. seen that this morning. I was able to like step back. I, I probably got my longest time in the game. Yeah. <coughs> you know, it's just I, I feel it's one of them strains where it's like you can I, if you're a gamer, gamer example. If you're a running gunner, you're gonna be good at running and gunning. Yeah, that's me. If you're a sniper. You're gonna be good as like. How you doing, Green to Grow? Blind Cat 420. That How type you doing, of stream. Ah, uh, well, I'm I'm not I'm under the weather right now, so you know it is what it is right now. So anyway, um, yeah, man, but that's my that's my whole thing on this bud, you know, um. I think I said it before in in uh in the original strain review. Would I grow it? Yeah, I would grow it. Um, it would have a place in my garden. I wouldn't want a whole fucking garden full of it, but it's a nice switch. You know, I I I dare say that this would be something that I would try to mix with some other bud, and I haven't done it yet. But I saved a piece, and I'm going to be switching it around and mixing it with a couple of different buds and seeing how that works out. Uh, I, I got a feeling that that may be even more of a winner, you know. But uh, that's just my opinion. All right. Mongo, like, just say it. What does Mongo say? Mongo like it, just saying. Mongo happy. Mongo happy? Mm -hmm. Well, Mongo's always happy, man. Damn. No, 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 no. Now, see, here's another one. Okay, I tasted, just tasted the purple, uh, the purple pineapple express. Right. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I we we uh did the review on that one and uh, I know I wished I hadn't missed out on that one, man. That was good. Yeah, I remember that one. That was, and it kind of was a creeper, wasn't it, Blaze? Wasn't it a creeper a little bit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. It creeped on me very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Got that fruit yeah. tropical fruit taste. Right. Tastes like a pineapple in your mouth, like a little teeny tiny piece of that uh, crystallized ginger and pineapple wrapped up together. Just a little bit more of the pineapple than the ginger. And then, bam, man, what a good thing. Damn, man, you're making my mouth water over here. Well, you got you some? some. Oh, man, I love that. <laughs> A salad doobie, you're right, Blaine Cat. You're right. Salad doobie. 
can't overemphasize that enough. I'm going to try it, though. See how it works out. I tell you one thing. I am definitely fucking high. And I'm definitely stoned off of this particular strain. Uh, compliments to the grower. Uh, you outdid yourself. And right. uh, keep it green, man. Keep it coming. I mean, fuck. Whatever you're doing, keep on doing it because you're doing it correctly. You know? That's all I got to say on that. Big round of applause. Definitely. Yeah, I I'm keep a, smoking. I'm, a, I'm so stoned. I think I'm about 2,300. 3,000 miles away from that certain area where it was grown, and it was a welcome change. There you go. And, uh, <coughs> just like K-Doggy was saying uh, with the uh, pineapple, uh, it's, a, it's a totally different smell, totally different effect, and the cheese quake is definitely a welcome change especially if it's a real cheese like right scuba said, like scuba said you know you got a cheese in your hand when you got a cheese in your hand yeah damn right that's right ain't lying there no doubt i love well, guys i want to i want to just remind everybody that tomorrow we have the late late weed show and the topic for tomorrow will be pheno hunting seedlings okay pheno hunting seedlings uh make sure you check that one out that's going to be a very informative show uh expect to get some knowledge drop bring some fucking notebook paper make sure you got a good pen because you're definitely going to want to take notes on that one, okay? Especially if you're a grower, you know, what it's all about. <coughs> uh, that being said, yeah, another notebook night. That's right, Lisa, another notebook night. This one will be, you, you'll learn a lot, okay? And we're bringing the knowledge to you. That being said, uh, I'm going to send it down the line to Papa for his last words. Papa, what do you got to say to me, man? Oh, man, I appreciate y'all being here and uh, <coughs> all, you guys, all you guys that are in the chat. Uh, you know, all you guys on the panel, I love being here with you. But it's time for me to sign off this thing and get my ass in the woods. Fuck the Super Bowl. I got to go plant some fucking weed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, this is Pop All Dad from <laughs> Weed Down South. Signing out. I love every one of you. All right, Pop All. We love you too, brother. Later, Pop All. Uh, let's see. Head up high. Play 707. What say you, man? You got any last words you want to tell everybody? I just appreciate y'all being a part of this outfit and uh, going along for the ride, man. This is this is fun, and uh, I'm like Paul, Paul, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my garden and not pay attention to what everybody else is paying attention to today. So uh, plant a seed and change your life, people. It is a fun little experience. Go along for the ride. Growers love keep it green. You, there's so many people out there. I don't even want to start naming names. All y'all are freaking awesome. Love y'all. Till next time. And kudos to Blaze, guys, because, you know, Blaze has really been a, um, uh, really been a, a big help with getting these strains out to everybody. Okay. Uh, He's really facilitated that for the group. And uh, I just want to send him a thank you and let him know that we appreciate his efforts. And uh, we'll definitely uh, pay it forward. Definitely. 
Okay. Uh, that being said, K Doggy, you got anything you want to say, bro? K Doggy loves each and every last one. Y'all, as though we were related, because you know, somehow or another, it's true. We are. It is true. I want to say, just blaze. Thank you, sir, for the uh, the opportunity to uh, taste your wares, sir. Delicious, I must say. I am quite high, quite happy, and quite well. Shit, I hate to say horny, but damn, you know, it's one of those kind of weeds. It's <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. It's like that's a medical I, benefit. That's a medical benefit. I'm just saying. I tell that's you, yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. It's the shizno. <laughs> it's the shiznizzle, my brother. So there you got uh, it, guys. You heard it here first. Cheese now, is the is the is the Viagra of weed. It's the green <laughs> Viagra. It's the green Viagra. Now that's I want y'all over and see me up from my channel. I love my brother K uh, uh, Primo Kush here, and, and 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 brought everybody that I could over here that I could if I could this morning. Now I would like for y'all like if y'all like my spill on what you thought we smoked. Well, shit, you know I'm high. Damn it, Sc uh, all y'all sitting here listening to him. Hey, listen to the damn DJ spit it out and fuck up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, y'all come see me tomorrow morning at eight o'clock on the damn West Coast. And if you're over here on the East Coast with me, it's eleven o'clock. And I promise in the AM, that's in the AM, it's a wake and bake show. I'm gonna <laughs> rock and roll y'all out in some way or another. I gotta figure something out. So uh yeah. Dog pound, let's get it. Marijuana fit, misfits, let's get it. And let me tell you guys something, man. K Dog is trying to get the 500 subscribers. Let's all help him out. If you guys didn't subscribe to K Dog yet, run on over to his channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check out one of his shows, man. All, you don't even have to watch it. All you got to do is hit it, turn it on, and put up the volume. And let the music take you away, cause he's really got good music going on. If you want to give a uh, a request, there's a lot of times uh, he'll take requests. Uh, if you can, uh, it's a it's a great show, guys. Check it out. All right, uh, Blaze. He's got the uh, episodes show, the growing episodes. <coughs> I believe he just did episode four. Uh, Awesome, awesome. All right, growing footage. Uh, Scuba, what you want to say anything, Scuba? Come here. Yeah. Look at Hey, y'all. Glad y'all come by. Great show. Growers love. Go see Scuba Steve. Go see Scuba Steve. Yeah, I'm right. Scoop was stoned over there. I can tell, man. His eyes are like fucking. That's all the You never know what Scoop was going to upload or go live with. You never know. A lot of times he'll even he'll even go live with tattoo art, guys. So if you want to see a good tattoo blasted, fucking hey, man. Just check out Steve. Uh, you never know really with Steve, though. He. He comes up with all kinds of shit. It could be a vlog to the Wally Mart. You know, you never know what's Steve. Okay. I still like the fruit cutting. I still love the fruit cutting, and that's been like six months ago. I love that damn thing. Oh yeah, man. Well, he's got I've culinary watched it twice. Skills, damn sure. The man has culinary skills. Got some apples in there. We might do something. Oh Later. shit. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Panel is always a crap of them. There you yeah. go. Play 707. Awesome. Good stuff, brother. Probably hit you up and build again tonight. If you're free. Yeah. Let's okay. get it. <laughs> Definitely. Later, Scooter. Damn. I got to get Definitely. Damn. Got him. In the morning, do it. Primo Kush. 
Host, host with the most. Just saying. Thank you, Papa. brother. Love you, Dad. I'll see you later. Sub up. Sub awesome. up, guys. Sub up, man. That's all there is to it. Okay. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to to smack that bell around a little bit. Uh, so you get all the notifications. You can't go wrong. All right. Uh, aside from the pajama party, we've got the late late weed show. I'm sure we got something coming up either on a Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not exactly sure right now. Just gonna let that lay right now. Uh last thing I want to say is thank you to everybody on the panel. And I also want to say thank you to everybody in the chat. Because let's face it, guys, without you uh, all coming here and partying up with us, man, we'd just be a bunch of people fucking in front of a camera. So thank you all for coming. Until next time, yo, boy, Primo, I'll see you in the funny papers. Primo, I got to pee. Hi, everybody. Primo, I got to pee. You got to pee. I got to pee. Gotta hurry up. I know. Hurry. Okay, man. Oh, shit. It didn't stop. Damn it. <laughs>